it's just amazing that this critter has, you know, evolved to swim in our waters. Something about steelhead that kind of just drives you a bit nuts. They're not hard to catch. They'll, they'll grab your fly, but they're definitely hard to find at times. So it's it's just a bizarre it's a bizarre thing because as soon as you start hooking a couple on tips or something like that, you want to go lighter tip or start skating a dry or uh, move to the next run. Yet you'll search and search, run after run, cast after cast. Yeah, the, the biggest steel that I've ever hooked has been up here. It's been like a 43 inch by 23 inch buck. So how big was that? How many pounds? Close to 30 pounds. That could be a nine year old fish, right? And uh, that's a critter, that's an animal that has had a crazy life. say about Terrace you know it's definitely it started as a logger town so it's pretty rough and tumble town well we just finished a four-day moose hunt and uh, we got meat for the winter check check one two check one two some fresh ones just tied up this is called blue balls one blue balls two <laughs> <laughs> my name is Todd Scharf I own and operate Skeena Steelhead Lodge in Terrace, British Columbia with my wife, Satya. I always wanted to move up north. I never thought my wife would be willing to move. I kind of proposed it to her to, to say, hey, if you want to do this, she said like, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, I was shocked. I was commercial tire for a lot of years. For me to make a, you know, a, a play as I, I had to go north and, and have these clients come to see me for like a one shop stop, right? They can come here, they can get the bugs they want, they can get the, the casting techniques they want, and uh, you know, and they can fish the rivers they want to fish. Some of these guys at the time just started started fishing with me and they're like you know, some of the first fish they ever caught. This is one of my favorite photos. It's a steelhead caught in the river where it shouldn't have been at the time of the year it shouldn't have been in. So you can see by the surprise look in my face, I'm like, wow, can't believe that just happened. Most of my clients I've fished with for over 10 years or longer. I'm just really willing to go to, you know, pretty far places with them to take them to areas that uh, a lot of other guys don't don't fish. You think you got it and you figured it all out, and then you find out you haven't figured anything out. This feels pretty good in here. It's definitely a mental state. Come on. Things are just a little bit different up here. You don't feel that it's very tame here. You feel pretty small. Northern breed of person is a little more rugged. This way is labor intensive, but I find the blend is better. 
I'm doing this, I want a little push in the front of the fly. So I'm building a bit of a shoulder in there. I want it too puffy. It's got to be the adventure. The whole thing, the whole process of the hunt for this species, right? Because it just can't be about the fish, right? It's, it's about the experience and the growth of an angler. We're fishing the least effective way. They swim up from the ocean into a bigger river, into a smaller river, and now they're gonna eat this fly that swung in front of their face. Dude, ultimate game fish. There he is. Fuck! That was a good one. Even right now, the hair starts standing up back of your neck. And you just you can feel that, okay, everything is right in the world. And you're like anticipation, like any second, any second, any second. And then nothing. Come on. There he is. Got a good pull, man. Big buck. The line tightens, you feel electricity, and the fish is on, and you're like, how can that work? I just find it amazing that this fish that has this crazy migration comes back to the same river that it was born in, almost to the same piece of water that it was born in, you know, fights its way through seals and drift nets and everything else to come back. And you're sitting there chucking a flies coming across the water, up out of the column, not in its face, not vertical presentation, straight and across. And uh, it comes up and grabs your fly. Anything, any grab I ever get from whatever fish, I'm impressed with because it's just amazing that they, they'll grab your bug. Everyone has, you know, what ifs back and forth in that, like, what if we didn't leave? What if I did something different down there? But since I've been here, I just, I just keep like, looking at my wife and looking at her, her level of that she's happy here, I'm happy here, our clients are happy here. And I thought I was just coming up here for the steelhead and all these places I could fish and all these fish and stuff like that. And basically, I just wanted to get out of the craziness of, you know, the lower province. So many different systems to fish, right? And never mind the Nass or down to Douglas and stuff like that. There's just realistically a different river you can fish every day. I don't know anywhere else in the world you 